people. So Satanic Lala Anthony is making her little rounds. You know what I'm saying? I want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here, Illuminati Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. And make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, before I get into this audio, listen, uh, Facebook, to all you idiots over, uh, no, not Facebook, to all you idiots over there on YouTube. Um, this is fair use to all you idiots over there at the breakfast club. This is fair use. Fair use. Well, Lala is speaking for the first time about her divorce. She was on with Angie Martinez, and she explained about keeping it private for a while, how it made her feel. Here's what she said. I still have my moments, but for the most part, I can talk about it now and laugh about it and find, you know, the humor in it all. Otherwise, I'll be... A basket case. Were you really bad? I was bad because it was public. I was bad because there were other people involved. Well, uh, let me let you let let, let know a little secret. As far as divorce, um, let me tell you something about divorce, people. Anything, the reason why Moses, because a lot of people say, well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Moses wrote a bill of divorce for us. Um, the reason why Moses have made a bill of the, uh, as, uh, written of the bill of divorce because of the hardness of our hearts, which is our hearts is our minds. That's because the same thing we do today, we did back then. You know what I'm saying? We grow out of love with somebody. You know what I'm saying? We get with somebody because they got a nice fat booty. And you know what I'm saying? And not because of love. You know what I'm saying? But see, you are not supposed to divorce. Because keep it, keep it 100. Sex is marriage, people. For all you don't know what marriage is, marriage is not when you are not. Marriage is not about a ring. That's not marriage. Marriage is not about, you know what I'm saying, who got the most people at their wedding, who got the biggest wedding cake, who got the best outfit, you know what I'm saying, how big your honeymoon is, you know what I'm saying. Marriage is not about none of that. That's the white man's marriage, you know what I'm saying. You black power, you know what, that's what kills me about black people. Black people are so quick to say, oh, the white man is keeping me down. Oh, the white man is this and the white man is that. But yet you follow after the white man tradition, traditional marriage settings. The same way with Brother Polite. Brother Polite made his living preaching against white people. But yet, as soon as he get locked up for a damn sexual rape charge of a 14-year-old girl, what's the first thing he do? He hires a white legal team. You would think that he would hire a black legal, legal team. Ain't he black conscience? Ain't he black power? But you see me, I'm truth all the way. I'm truth all the way. When I wasn't in the truth, and when, um, when I was down in Georgia, and the feds ran in, you know, ran up into my restaurant and seized all of my assets and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And when I got locked up, did I hire a white legal team or a Jewish legal team to get me out of trouble? No, I have me, I hired me a black lawyer. And I'm proud to say his name and promote him. You know what I'm saying? So if you, if you, any of you have any legal problems or legal issues, contact or look up Calvin Edwards Jr. Yes, the best lawyer you can find. You know what I'm saying? You, hey, hey, he got me out of some, you know, some, some heavy charges. My charge was money laundering, bribery, and influencing a witness. Yes, I was dealing with millions, understand that? Mansions, understand that? Lamborghinis and Ferraris, understand that? Right down there in Georgia. And Calvin Edwards Jr. was the lawyer above all lawyers. He's black. But so, so you see, so even when I wasn't in the truth, I was black conscience. <laughs> you see that? But, you know what I'm saying? These black people so quick to say, oh, the black man, I mean, the white man is this, the white man is that, but yet, 
you follow after the white man's traditions. When the Bible clearly says marriage is sex. Who you lay with, that's who you married to. So whoever you lay with, so you women out there, whoever you lay down and open your legs to, do you know you just made a marriage bond? To you men out there, whoever you open, you lay down and you go in between their legs, that's who you are married to. And when you go out and you go and you sleep with somebody else, after laying down and sleeping with that first woman, guess what? You commit adultery. It's that's it's that simple as commit adultery. It's that simple. And a lot of people don't know that. So that's why a lot of people are going through hard times that they're going through today. Because they don't, they didn't even know that they committed adultery. They thinking, you know what I'm saying? As long as I get this piece of paper signed by the courts, you know what I'm saying? We free. But if you guys haven't committed, if none of you guys haven't committed adultery and you got that piece of paper and, and, and the white man say that you're free, you're not free. Because if you go out and you sleep with somebody else and your mate have not committed slept with nobody else, you just broke the law. You just, did, you just committed adultery. That's, now, that's the truth. And that's real. You can't get no realer than that. And you see, the Bible says in the book of Malachi, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Since thou reject knowledge, I will reject thee, and thou shalt be no people unto me. So you guys broke the commandments. You reject knowledge. This is knowledge. But Lala Anthony, and number, number two, you know what a woman ain't supposed to do? A woman ain't supposed to be going on social media yapping out her her business within her household. That was a no-no. That's not supposed to be. That's what you call a Jezebel. That's what you call a naysayer. That's what you call a haunty woman. But let me go ahead and press play. This is fair use, YouTube. Fair use. Oh, that was bad because there were allegations. It, was, it got bad. And, you know, I'm not a person to ever put my business on social media. I'm not a person who ever... I've never spoke... This is the first time I've spoke. Uh, you were not a person who, to put your business on social media. So what? You're not the same person that you was before? What? You're somebody different, Lala? That's what you're saying? Because what you're doing now, are you not putting your business out? So what you saying, see, oh, I'm not the person, I'm not the person to put my business out on social media. So you mean to tell me this is a different Lala? This is not you. So you mean to tell me you are not the one that's doing this? You tell me somebody else doing this, Lala? You see how she's speaking out both sides of her mouth? But it's like, you know, so many times you do want to say, oh, you guys really want to know what happened? You want to hear it from me, but you hold it in. And it's like, oh, Lana's doing good. She looked good on the gram. It's like, no, that shit hit me really hard. Oh, Lana. And then in addition to that, she also talked about her post that she does on Instagram and what her DM's looking like. I am in a new phase and chapter in my life. Like, I didn't think at this phase I would be entering. She in a new phase and a chapter in her life. Let me tell you something. Ain't no such thing as chapters in your life. Ain't no such thing as phases in your life. When you are born, you are born to do one thing. That's to keep these laws, statute, commandments of the Most High. You women are born to be subject unto your husbands. And you men are born to do the will of the Most High. And in that order. Ain't no phases. Ain't no chapters. You know what I'm saying? That is another white man's theory and another white man's uh, 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 um, tradition that we always follow. Oh, another chapter. I'm, a, I'm on another level, another chapter. Ain't no, ain't no levels. It's either you're doing, either you're righteous or you're, or you're unrighteous. 
but that's why that's how why our people are so confused now. We we don't know what we what level we are on. Into being single, and so now I gotta readjust. So I can't be out here looking <laughs> crazy. I, I'm trying to get some DMs popping. I'm trying to see what's going on. I can only imagine <laughs> what is happening in Lala's DMs right now. I'm trying to get, look. She's trying to be a whore. I'm look. I'm trying to get the DMs popping. I'm trying to you know what I'm saying get the D. She's trying to be a whore. And what is this promoting? This promoting whoredom amongst people who follow Lala Anthony. Oh, I'm. But you probably say, well, she's single now. That don't mean you jump your ass back into another damn relationship. Because if you jump your ass back into another relationship with a thirsty Negro, do you know what that's going to cause? That's going to cause you to be right back to square one again. And then you jumping into another relationship with another thirsty Negro, that's going to lead you right back to square one again. And then you're going to do the same thing. And each time you're going to lead you right back to square one. You know what I'm saying? That's why you must find yourself first. If you are in a relationship or you just got out of a heavy relationship, listen, find the most high. You know what I'm saying? Matter, matter of fact, get in the, the my Bible study class. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you the way. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you how to be that modest woman that you know what I'm saying? That you will not even have a mind to even think about a man, but you have a mind to think about the most high. Get in the class. My, you can get, join my Bible study class by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is P-S-T-R, Michael Smith, and that's on Facebook. That's P-S-T-R. Michael Smith, and that's on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Following Lala and talking about, oh, I'm trying to get my DMs popping. Let me tell you something. Nobody, let me tell you something. No good relationship comes out of somebody hitting you up in your DM. Tell me, have you ever seen anybody who have created a re good relationship out of meeting somebody in a DM? Or a Facebook messenger, or a text message, or any type of any type of social media. You have not heard of it, because only thirsty Negroes and lustful Negroes and Negroes that are no good seek out vulnerable women. That's on social media. Nothing good comes out of that. Can you tell me one thing? Then I'll tell the person. Mm -hmm. I can pull DMs up with friends of mine, and it's the same message in each one of our DMs from a person. Like, what are you just copying your face? <laughs> I bet you it was somebody super high profile, too. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Dropping a clue about for La Lizzy. La Lizzy is a group chat favorite, meaning that uh, if you're in a group chat with, like, guys, mm -hmm. you'll see a La La picture float across the, the group chat timeline. Mm -hmm. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely a group chat favorite. All right. All right, that's news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I am your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. And don't forget the people, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you want to donate to this ministry, this channel, please, the PayPal donation link is in the description box below. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.